A documentary at this year's Denver Film Fest is challenging the city of Boulder's inclusive reputation. The film, This Is Not Who We Are, includes the testimonials of several black Boulder residents, including Zaid Atkinson, who won a settlement from the city after a police officer confronted him in his yard. Eventually, several officers surrounded him. At least one weapon was drawn. Michael Abeda joins us from Boulder tonight. Michael, you spoke to Atkinson back when you covered this story in 2019. He spoke to him again today about the film and the message it's working to get across. Yeah, you know, Karen, the cases of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and then locally here, Elijah McClain really raised the nation's consciousness when it comes to race and policing. But a year before that, Zayd Atkinson was making national headlines for his confrontation with police and standing up when he feels like he was unjustly confronted by them. Yes, I do, because you're not listening. On March 1st, 2019, Zayd Atkinson's life was upended. While picking up trash outside of his home in Boulder, he was approached and eventually held at gunpoint by then Boulder police officer John Smiley. That encounter thrust him into the national spotlight for fighting a battle many black women and men have fought, standing up against police aggression towards the black community. And I think, you know, from the white perspective, that we don't understand our history very well, how we got this way, and we don't necessarily have enough awareness that this is what's happening. As Zaid spoke out, lifelong Boulderite CU graduate and filmmaker Barrett Strong listened. She was in pre-production for a film exploring how Boulder's history shaped the city's race relations. We're white, wealthy, liberal on the on balance and pretty you know full of ourselves in a certain way and yet we realize now and, and the people who are BIPOC realized all along that we're not treating some members of our community well at all. She worked with Zaid to tell his story in her film. She hopes it will help Boulderites look in the mirror and ask tough questions. Are we the community we want to be? Are we as welcoming and inclusive as we want to be? And if we're not, do we want to do something about it? Zaid said touring with this film has helped him trust the people of Boulder again. There was this uh, eminent healing process through every one of these discussions that I'm having with people in the community. Barrett says it was something special to document. His work has changed Boulder and that film is um, trying to amplify that. Now if you want to see this film it will be screened at the Denver International Film Festival in, in November coming up here pretty soon. In Boulder, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First. And the film festival kicked off today, runs through the 13th. Tickets on sale now. We've got a link for you at cbscolorado.com.